Okay, now with the segment of the, uh, my brother was a Danbury Hamilton Franklin Mint collector as well as NHRA, NASCAR, Code 3, First Gear, Dragon Air, Warbird Series, and uh, just about every caterpillar that you can see that. He, my brother collected every caterpillar that does not fly. Anyway, it will never fly. So, here's just a sampling of this Franklin Mint uh, collectibles. This right here is a Cadillac Smuggler's Roadster. 16 cylinder Cadillac. All it needs a key. Get down, get in, drive away. Is that beauty? The 1946 Dodge <laughs> Power Wagon. We've got the General Lee, which is a uh, funny car racer. And if I get some hits, if you guys want, I'll show it to you. <laughs> uh, also, we have the McMullen Roasters. We have a Peter Bell Spirit America Flying Eagle. This thing is just a beauty. Oh, you see that? Who has these things? I mean, who collects Robbie the Robot in a Peter Bell tractor? I just don't get it. Oh, my brother. That's it. Yeah, besides everything else, we've got Captain Bloody Jack freaking Sparrow's Black Pearl! I'm not kidding you. That's the Black Pearl. And if you see, there's a certificate of authenticity. Certificate of authenticity. The bloody Black Pearl. Alright. We got a couple of guys disguised as Chinamen swimming up in the Pearl. They turn to skeletons as soon as they touch the coins. You know, the, you know, the greed is not that great. Okay, rounding about the far end, the west wing of the collection. My brother was in the Navy. He was in the Vietnam War on the uh, ship USS Forrestal, number 59. My brother was one of those guys that lassoed the jet as it came in and hooked the tail in. He even saved somebody's life one time. Because the first day he was in an aircraft carrier, and his job, somebody came in and they got cut in half. So some time later, my brother saw a same scenario of some numbnuts walking around. My brother tackled him, the cable went, whack it, shh! No casualties. So anyway, my brother loved all the jets. And he loved uh, the, all of the weapons of, of war, Vietnam, the Falcons, the Phantoms, Tornadoes, the Hueys, the, um, the Tomcats, the Sundown of Tomcats. They're all here. Every one of them. Actually, one of my, one of my particular favorites, though, this is a Franklin Mint uh, armor collection. It's the Stuka. <laughs> And miraculously, this thing will drop its bomb and come within 500 feet, <laughs> climb back up. And the reason it did so was because of the ailerons that went the length of the wing. The wing is, is built like a mosquito, so it could flit about. That's your history lesson for the day. However, speaking of history, <clears throat> My brother has you all smoked at, hit, at the History Channel. My brother was a collector. This stuff was extracted from seven storage lockers in San Fernando Valley. So, what's that make him? A hoarder, okay. Since they were from the storage lockers, uh, the storage wars was part of it. This stuff is all history, over 40 years of collecting. Pawn Stars, come on, give me one of your low balls. Sorry guys, it's not for sale. This is just a tribute to my brother, memorializing it all. Unless the price is really right. <laughs> but my brother also liked ice road, ice road truckers. I thought I should, I should uh, plug that as well. So anyway, at the bottom here on this ramp, you see the postage stamp collectibles. 
I got all the high flyers up here over 30,000 feet. Reconnaissance, we got U2s, we've got stealths, we got SL-71 Blackbirds. You know, we got the high flyers. And right around here, we start with the uh, Stupa was in the same battle with this but Sherman yeah. tank. We start with the I read <laughs> that this has over 1,000 parts connected. But not that they all move or anything. 1,000 parts. It was powered. It was powered by a Plymouth. Jimmy Storr drove a Plymouth on Mulholland and got a blowjob from Catherine Hepburn. I, sh I, I heard that. Anyway. Sorry, guys, but you're all dead. You can't sue me. <laughs> anyway, so we've got all these postage stamp models uh, just depicting every war there is. I mean, I've got the most modern stealth bomber to the Wright Brothers plane. 100 years of aerospace here. Um, and then, of course, you know, we have one of our all-time favorites. All-time favorites. SR-71 Blackbird. Tommy Lee Jones, that World Space Cowboys, on the ground, looks like a sick cow. It's a dog is leaking, it's dripping, there's tars sipped in oil. You get that thing up to 30,000 feet, the seals dry up, the thing just, just stops smoking and it soars like an angel Gabriel. Whew! It takes a lot of pictures of them Ruskies too. 